so hello friends today I'm going to show you how to configure Hyper-V and I'm going to install the VCBox 9 and this is my first video on the VC Dial 9 version I'm going to show you how to install it and uh, the, as the same thing in the how to install the Hyper-V also and we have already put a Hyper-V session how to enable this one and now I'm going to show you how to do in the Hyper-V the Linux system so very first beginning you have to open your server manager now there is the option after enable the Hyper-V click on that after that you will get a server prompt now you have to select this one and there is a one option is there Hyper-V manager you have to open that one you have to go to your new virtual machine so here is the wizard you have to select the next and put your the name and putting vc box or vc vc box 9 whatever you want to give the name you can put it select the generation one now I am putting the RAM so this is a basically a virtual environment this is not in a production so that is the reason I am just for the demo I am taking 2GB RAM now you have to select the LAN LAN card here is the your hard disk size I am putting 80 GB you can take as per your you know, the recording is um, recording and your user wise you have to put the hard disk so I have already downloaded the ISO now I am going to select the image file and then next and finish So here is the my virtual machine now I have to start it just you have to double click on that the console will open now install VCBox version 9 the second option you have to select it so here is the first prompt destroy all data on because it's first format your hard disk and then install the operating system directly you don't have to put any command for the operating system loading in the VC box 8 version uh, we have to put the OS install but in the VC dial uh, VC box 9 version there there is a no command for the OS installation it will be you know, automatically it uh, it will be installed from the ISO file so I have reboot my system and the operating system is loading so now it's asking for the login the first login I have to put the root the login is root RWT hit enter the password will be the by default VC dial V I C I D I A L and this is the my initial setup for the, this is my initial setup for the VCDL. Now I have to put the layout and the whole thing. This is the agreement page. I have to agree. Let's select my time zone. So I have to configure my root password and reconfirm it now all is set let me check my IP configuration by default it is taking DHCP so it's a 43.51 let me change my IP so I have to put the yes LAN 
see in the screen you can see the IP address assigned using DHCP I have to change the DHCP to static mode use your tab to edit select statically assigned IP address using your space and put your IP address here in my network system I am using slash 24 so I have to put 255.255.255.0 now I'm going to put my DNS it's a global DNS 4.2.2.2 select the host oblique DNS one and use via using my tab I'm putting here you can change your host name also here but I'm not going to change my host name and now I'm going to put my default IP address the gateway one and hit ok via using same via tab hit enter and it's configuring the IP address now I'm going to check my IP address has changed or not IP config is the command so my IP address IP address has changed let me install vcbox so the command is vcbox express Please follow our other video to configure the, the campaigns and the carrier in inbound outbound. So I'm just putting yes for the express zone. So uh, the audio store has in installed. Now I have to reboot to clean setup. The command is reboot. So my system has a startup. Now the root password has changed because I have already put the new one. Now you have to check your service is perfect or not. In VCBox 9 by default G729 codec has installed. So let me show you uh, the codec show code shows translation. So you can see in this command see G729 has installed by default it has installed you don't have to put G729 codec now go to your browser and select put your IP address and the by default the the first login is 4 times 6 1 2 3 4 and here is the initial setup I have put a new password for the browser so new is the password you can put your as per you some difficulty password is always better because this is the admin login submit it and please uh, re-login to your visitor so check here is the thing sorry there is a lot of noises here from outside so here is the user and you have to uh, no, give the permission to your admin so here is the admin interface option you have to put the holes one so in my first video where I have uh, show you how to change this one and the user level please uh, check the video uh, the VC dial installation so the, the all things are same nothing is extra on this after that and one more thing I am going to show you in the hyper B manager you can check your CPU usage your assigned RAM and uptime level so here is the memory and the networking check 
the status is okay in the LAN network that means it's get IP address and the LAN is perfect so here is the summary version and uh, it's showing running state CPU usage 1% and the uptime uh, thank you for uh, watching my video and uh, please follow us and subscribe us for the more, more latest video and thanks thanks once again